Come along with me, Aisha, a.k.a. Lash of the Living Lash, as I wander the world with my husband and son, with my girls, and sometimes by myself. And this time, let's experience Bend. So I just um, am sitting here for my layover in Seattle on my way to Bend, Oregon. So I have an hour layover here. Um, I just got Subway. It was a smooth flight, but it went very quickly. Um, it was practically an empty flight, which was even better because I don't like sitting next to people, so I had a whole row to myself. But now I have my Starbucks, drinking my tea, uh, waiting for this layover. So in about, about say, 30 minutes, we're gonna start boarding. It's a quick 45 minute flight from um, uh, Seattle to Bend, and then we'll be on our way and seeing the rest of the girls. We have checked in to the Element Bend where we're staying at for the week here in Bend, Oregon with Visit Bend. And the room is so great because it allows us to stay all in one place but still have our own space. So when you walk in here, you have multiple rooms. So these are everyone's rooms where they can have their own space and their own bathroom and their own bed. And then where we wanna congregate, we have this open area where we can eat we can watch TV together, we can drink some wine, and if we don't feel like going out because we're being super lazy, we can get some groceries, put them in the fridge, and cook our own food. We probably won't be cooking a lot because we have a lot on the itinerary, but it gives us the option. So this is where we're staying. We're all super comfortable. We're excited to be here and ready for all the adventures. For our first night in Bend, we went to Domaine Serene Wine Lounge. We were actually greeted for a VIP wine tasting and dinner experience, so we were all super excited, especially after a long day of traveling. We wanted to make sure that we're getting there, we're getting somewhere comfortable, we're getting food, and of course, we're getting the wine. Bend is known for wine as well because of the fresh water they able to provide and how they use that water to make wine. So we also got a tour of the wine lounge, which also allowed us to go into the, I would say, basement of the area, which was super cool to go see. You go through a hidden kind of speakeasy door down the stairs into what looks like you're going to find into a wine cellar. So the beautiful decor that's down there, you get to see all of the um, stone and mortar. And there are two rooms down that you actually can rent out. Um, it is for members only, but each location downstairs is able to rent by members for a $500 fee. As you can see, this one room, which has this kind of, I would say, Kingsman kind of feel. That's what I immediately thought of when I went down there. But you can see all of the red room, the wine bottles everywhere. There is a TV. So, of course, you can sit, you can drink, you can enjoy, you can have a private experience, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, and we wish that we were down there for dinner, but of course being upstairs in the immaculate space was <laughs> also God, great. So we have got to hear a lot of the histories of the area, there. including that the knowledge that there actually time. is a ghost that is downstairs. Aisha's gone. I have it, but I've seen glassware move across tables. No. What? Like, we already got ghosts in our room. Uh-uh. <laughs> to go snowmobiling this morning in Bend. Everyone has their snow gear on. So as we can see, we're all kind of just around, putting ourselves together. We have Lauren over here in her, her black and pink. Then we have more pink over here with Elise. We got Greta over here in the green and black. We got two babes still trying to get it together. One's in here. 
she's in in bright colors, and the other one, other one's still still figuring out her uh, her outfit. So we're gonna be on our way, getting in the cars, going snowmobiling, keeping everyone safe. It's gonna be a fun trip. For our first adventure in Bend, we went snowmobiling with Central Oregon Adventures. One great thing that they do is they provide you with the necessities that you need, such as the helmet and goggles, and the ability to purchase gloves or anything else you need to keep warm, but of course, bring your own equipment if you have it. They took us up the mountain to be able to see the magnificent views, and we were able to go at our own pace because, like I said, it was a first time for a lot of us. We got up to the mountain, and the view was absolutely marvelous we made it to the top of the mountain you know on our snowmobiles look at these views it's absolutely immaculate we just got here uh, after probably snowmobiling and trekking for about at least 45 minutes uh, at a good pace we all got very comfortable very quickly but I mean look at these views So we are about to head in to do a prohibition cave tour. So we're going through a number of caves underground, learning some history, uh, going down there with these immaculate helmets on. So nice. stylish. I know. So we're about to head down into this thing over here. You can kind of see some gates, but we're going to figure out what's going to happen when we get down there. <laughs> survived the cave tour. No one fell, no one broke anything, no one is lost in the cave, no one got bit by a bat. We no saw one. some, um, we got some pictures, <laughs> and now we're about to find on the caves. Some alcohol. Times that we drank. Yes. We deserve it. We worked hard. We're Babes, badass. Babes who cave together drink together. That's right. We badass wandered pretty hard today. Wait, badasses that wander. Exactly. Yeah. So on to the next adventure. After a long and strenuous day from snowmobiling to cave exploring, climbing over all the rocks, and then going for a little tour at the Oregon Spirits Distillery, we had a sit down dinner before getting up the next day and taking a very short drive to Old Mill District. Old Mill District from our hotel in Element Bend was about an eight minute drive, very short, easy to get to. And we got to Old Mill District, which is a shopping district. We decided to stop for lunch first to fuel up at Greg's Grill. Old Mill District is a shopping district only minutes from downtown Bend. In Old Mill District, you'll find a lot of local shops that you'll want to shop to find great things that are specific to Bend, as well as just little boutiques that have great items to purchase as gifts or just things to wear. Also, one great thing about Old Mill District is the views next to it. There's a little man-made river that you can walk across a bridge to see. You can also go around Old Mill District and find the variety of murals that are decorated throughout the area. 
There's one that is along, or some that are along some walls, there are along some stairs. But of course, you wanna take a walk around and also explore while you're also shopping. In Old Mill District, you'll find Ba Piano, which is a winery that houses some great wines from the areas in Washington. So during our trip, we stopped in the Ba Piano at Old Mill District to have a very great wine tasting while we were relax after taking some time shopping. So there's also the ability to get chocolates, a charcuterie board, and a few bites to go along with all the wine that we were having. I highly recommend stopping here if you're in Old Mill District and tasting some of the amazing reds. They specialize in them. They do have whites, but the reds are where it is at. So I highly recommend stopping in, tasting some wine, and bringing a bottle home with you. That's it. <laughs> Our next adventure was with Wonderlust Tours, who has also took us on the caving prohibition cave tour. So we got ready again in our snow gear because this time it was late at night and it was time to go snowshoeing. So we all hopped in the van. They pick you up right from where you are staying. And we headed off first for an amazing dinner by a, uh, a chef who came right to a warming lodge where we were able to eat right there before putting on our snowshoes and heading up the mountain for some hot chocolate. We are literally out here in the dark, snowshoeing through the snow, trying to get to the bonfire. Um, I honestly don't see any in sight. This is going to be a good stretch, but as you can hear by the crunching, we are making our way. After another strenuous day of doing some work when we went to the snowshoeing, we got up the next day and decided it was time for breakfast. We went to downtown Bend, which was about three minutes from our hotel to go to the lemon tree. The lemon tree serves a variety of different dishes in this quaint little restaurant where you're able to get some mulled wine, you're able to get some specialty breakfast cocktails, as well as get some amazing breakfast and brunch dishes from a variety of different areas because it's all inspired by different ethnic groups. So I was able to get some mulled wine, that's what I was feeling that morning, as well as a delicious croissant that is warmed and freshly, freshly baked, as well as a nice little Benedict while everyone enjoyed their breakfast before the day's calming experience. After breakfast, we headed over to the last Blockbuster. Yes, there is still a Blockbuster left in the world. This is the absolute last Blockbuster there is to exist and it's still running and functioning. You can go into the Blockbuster and rent movies to bring them back same as you would when the Blockbusters were all actually up and running. So if you're looking for a little nostalgia when visiting Ben, head over to the last Blockbuster to get your souvenirs, some quick picks, and even rent yourself a movie. Boy, I know I love the strong. The last activity on our trip in Bend was to the Anjou Spa. If you are in Bend and you are visiting, I highly recommend visiting the spa if you're looking for a relaxing day, especially after if you've done any adventurous activities such as us and need something just to calm you down and get out some of those, those that soreness out of your muscles. For all of us, we went in and we were actually get a multitude of different services. We all got a different variety of uh, massages, as well as facials, as well as doing a foot soak and enjoying all of the other amenities within Andrew Spa, such as the sand room, the steam room, and also getting some drinks and having some snacks. So it was a wonderful experience. 
and a great last activity on our trip. For our last night, we headed over to downtown Ben and visited Jules for a little ethnic dinner. We were able to sit, enjoy some amazing flavors, and say goodbyes to each other before we were heading out home the next day. Ooh, I feel it. Whenever, forever.